a snowflake. Hey guys, and welcome to Dolled Up. Today I'm going to do a natural look, and I hope you enjoy getting ready with me. So I usually start out with La Base by Lancome. Now this is a primer that I really like. I've gone through a few different ones, but for some reason I think this one works really well with my skin and my foundation. So all you need is just a pea size because literally a little bit goes a long way. It is oil free. I have really oily skin. The one thing that can be bad about um, not oil free things but things that actually are supposed to take away oil is bad for your skin because it's tricking your skin into thinking that you're not producing enough so it actually produces even more anyway so today i'm going to do mark jacobs um this is new i just got it from sephora and so far i've been really liking it however Throughout the day, it kind of does get a little, like, blotchy. It, like, comes on, like, this weird stick. And then I take these oil drops. It's called Prep and Prime from MAC. And then I do just, like, one drop because, honestly, it's pretty strong. So I kind of just, like, mix that. And then put a little here, a little here. And then I keep going. Like there's like these lines that kind of occur. But that's okay because we're just going to put a powder to set it. Which you should do with any liquid foundation. So this one is by MAC also. It's Studio Fix. This is C5. It is a full coverage. Um, this has a little bit of a yellow tint in it. So I just kind of do that to set it. And it does really, really set it. Like, honestly, I don't think you need, like, an actual setting powder. Just because I think it does make your face look more white than you, like, are trying to get it. I really like this concealer by LA Girl. And this is Color Porcelain. I'm sorry that these are not focusing. I'm not really sure why. There we go. It's really nice because it has like a little stick that you can like just draw onto your face and you just squeeze it and it comes like right out. So I put this under my eye, I make little triangles underneath and then I put over my eye. You want to make sure you get the middle of your forehead and the bridge of your nose and then just right here and another line right there. Now I have my blending beauty sponge. I am new to this. For the longest time I thought it was so weird that you were putting a sponge to your face. Now you also do have to set this. So I use Laura Mercier, sorry if I say it funny, this is just a secret brightening powder. This works really well. Okay, looks really good, a little bit over my eyes. So now I have another LA Girl concealer, um, and this one is called beautiful bronze. This kind of comes out a little bit dark so you want to be careful. So you just line it up here. Circle to make your nose appear smaller. And then I take my powder and then I put it over. So it kind of lightens it up a little bit. So it's not like as obvious to see all of the lines I drew on my nose. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyelid primer and this actually works pretty well. I mean it's really cheap, you can get it from Target and I really like it. 
we are just going to use a white color this is also from BH Cosmetics it's really pigmented and has so many colors and also like more underneath which is really nice because you have so much variety so I'm gonna use this white one right here this like brightens up your eyes so well and then I do a little right here looks really good okay so now I'm gonna use my naked palette and I'm gonna use the color sidecar I really like that color because it's not too dark but it's not too light and it kind of helps like make the white not look so scary so I'm just gonna put that in the crease and we're gonna blend in just a moment okay so blend that in so it kind of gives it more dimension in your eye we don't want it just to be one solid color. We are now going to just use a mascara. I use telescopic mascara. You could get this at Target, CVS, wherever, whatever drugstore. It works so well. I love mascara because I'm all about my long lashes. So I like to accentuate them. We're just going to do one coat at a time. And you want to make sure that your mascara isn't too old because that's what creates the crummy look. Okay, time for second coat. So now we're just going to do the tips only. And also what I do is I go from behind and then back up. Now, some people don't like this look of your mascara. They call it spider legs but honestly as long as they look good and long and thick without looking crummy of course then more to you if you got good lashes flaunt them girl so now you can see zoom up in here how long they look pretty good and they don't look too spidery now <laughs> so um, I usually do my eyebrows before my mascara but accidentally took a step ahead because I was so excited um, alright so I already have like a pretty good arch I don't really need to draw too much in so but I do like have these bald spots in my brows they don't grow there for whatever reason all right so we're just gonna fill that in to give it a better arch okay so to give it more of a pre precise look I just draw like a line right under there can you see how more much more defined it looks in this one than in this one and it's so simple, like don't do too much, don't draw them too thick or too dark, like honestly you just need a little bit of this. And then you make it more defined, you take your concealer and an angled brush and then just kind of like draw underneath it to make it like even more precise. And then what I do is I get this highlighting pencil. It's called Flawless Brow Highlighter. It has two ends. One is shinier and one is matte. Um, I think this one is the shiny one. And then we take our Flawless Brow Gel, also by BH Cosmetics. Brush it up just helps it stay up. Now I'm going to take my MAC Blunt. This is under blushes in the MAC store, but it's like really dark. And then I do the fish face, it works for me. That way it like creates the line you're supposed to draw in. And then you can kind of add a little bit more too on your nose if you need to. Now we're going to take this Give Me Sun by MAC. This is a beautiful color. I love it. It has like an orangey bronze to it where this one is more of a dark chocolate brown. Put it more above like on the cheekbone 
And then I like to smile to get those big cheeks of mine. I haven't blended at all yet, so do not worry. I know it looks funny, but we're not done. Because I want to do the bottom mascara now. So, put it on top and then roll under. Gives it more of a dramatic look. I usually just do the temples right here. Just dab it. Just like here and here. Blend, blend, blend. It's our best friend. So we have the contouring done. Also, well, actually, if you want to contour a smaller face, you just kind of go under the jawline right here. So I just bought this. This is Anastasia So Hollywood. And I so love it. It has like a little bit of a gold tint to it. We're going to take... A highlighting brush just a little bit because it's very pigmented and then just do it on the tip of your cheek bone oh my god this stuff is amazing and then I just kind of follow it up here so now I'm going to use the urban decay setting spray oil control um, I did talk about this earlier in the video, how it can produce more oil. So because I've never used it, I do want to see for myself if this is going to work. I hope you enjoyed my video of my natural look that I usually go for. Please subscribe and hope to hear from you guys. Thank you. Bye.